Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video I'll show you how to change the font of a UI text. So for changing the font of the UI text I'll first select this UI text. So if I click on the UI text option you can see over here I have this option of fonts and if I click over here you can see over here I just have the Arial font option. So we do not have any particular font to choose from okay. So I've clicked on this circle to open the select font option okay. So next let me show you one website from where you can download different fonts. So I'll again go on Google and the next website from where you can download fonts is called as thefont.com. Now once we go on thefont.com you can see over here that this thefont.com has a collection of many fonts and from this website you can use fonts for your personal use as well as commercial use okay. So if you look over here that is if you look at this first font which says painter then on the right side of this font free for personal use is written. So this basically means you can download this font but you can only use it for personal use. That is you can download this font but only use it inside your personal projects. You cannot redistribute or sell your game using this painter font okay. So what we are looking for if we are looking for a font which is 100% free. Okay, I'll close this thing. So let me show you what I mean. So if suppose I click on this comic font and if I go down, okay, so all the fonts that are coming up over here are free for personal use. Okay. So I'm basically searching for an option which says 100% free. So maybe I'll go in sans serif. And as you can see over here, this font, which is called as Babe is New. Okay, I don't know whether I've spelled it right or wrong. So please forgive me if I spelled it wrong. So this font that you can see over here, on the right side of this font, 100% free is written. So 100% free basically means you can use this font not only for your personal use, but you can also use this font inside your game that you want to use commercially. So guys, before you download any font from thefont.com, please make sure that the font that you're downloading is 100% free. So to download a font and use it inside your game, you just have to click on this download option. And once you click on the download option, you can see over here, this font is downloaded over here. So I'll copy this font on my desktop. So as you can see, I have this font on my desktop and to use this font inside unity you first have to extract this font okay so i'll click on extract to this folder okay and as you can see inside this font folder i have this font option okay and this is the name of the font and if you want to use this font inside your game you just have to drag this font inside the assets folder okay so inside the assets folder i'll first create a new folder and I'll rename this as fonts. Next inside the fonts folder I'll copy a font. So I won't be copying this font as I've just downloaded this font to show you how to download fonts from the font.com. So inside the fonts folder I have another font called as Aero 2 and this is the font that I'll be using inside a game. So as we have done before I'll extract the Aero 2 font inside the Aero 2 folder now since we want to use this font inside unity i will drag this font inside the fonts folder now as you can see i basically copied the arrow to font inside the fonts folder next i'll click on the ui text and after that in place of arial i will drag this arrow font so i'll click on this arrow font and i'll drag it over here so guys now as you can see the font of my scene is changed to arrow 2 okay so if i click on play okay i'll just click on maximize on play and i'll click on the play option again so you can see over here the font is basically changed next what i'll do is i'll just customize this font a little bit so i'll click on the text option and i'll increase the font size okay so Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just keep the congratulations text. I'll cut this text over here. I'll create a new text to add this. You just completed the game. So I'll click on control X. Next, I'll click on congratulations. 
and let me set some color to this UI text. So I'll first select the position tool and I'll bring it on top and after that let's add some color to it. So to add colors you can click on this option and give some random color to this congratulations text. What I'll do is I'll click on this color chooser option. So if I click over here, so using this option, I can choose any color from this view that I'm getting. So what I'll do is I will select this color over here. Okay, this color is not looking that good. I'll again click on this option and let us see how this color looks. Okay, this is still a little dull. Okay, so I'll finally settle with this color. Next, inside the canvas, I'll create one more UI text component. Okay, I'll give this a name of small text. And in place of the small text, I will just copy, you just completed the game text. Okay, I'll make some modifications inside this. So I'll expand this a little bit. I'll bring it in the center and then I'll place it somewhere over here. Okay. After this, I will use the arrow font text again for the small text. I'll increase its font size a little bit. Okay. I'll maybe bring this down. Okay. I'll again, I'll also bring the raw image a little down. Okay. And as I was saying, I'll just add a text color to this. So let's see how this thing looks. So if I click on play, so you can see over here, our end scene is now looking like this. So guys, I'll basically stop the customization over here. Now, if you want, you can search for a particular color and make modifications as you want okay but guys i'll stop over here and i hope from this video you would have understood how to add different fonts inside a unity game i hope you would have liked this video this was a free video from my virtual reality course which is available on udemy this course is currently priced at 200 dollars but you can get it at a discounted price of just 10 dollars by clicking on the link in the description so if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.